Hello and welcome back to this Trails of Cold Steel Let's Play with me, SLJRPG. In the last episode, we defeated the Auric Canyon Monster, learned a little bit about the Fort, Auric Fort, and about some movements. As we left, we saw a flying object fly away, much to everyone's grimace and not knowing what was going on. But the day is done. I'm going to return to the hotel. Once again, apologies if you can hear the um, hear the fan. It's really hot at the moment. It has to be done. That's father, huh? What? Is this going to be someone we're seeing for the first time? I'm sorry, to for not coming to greet you, father. I'm here for a short time. I use this have returned to enough. Uh. Duke Alborea, I informed Rufus you may do as you wish while you're here. You will do nothing to bring shame upon myself, nor the Albrea name. Be ever mindful of your position and what you represent. Yes, father. It would be too much to ask you to introduce me to your class. No time for pleasantries. Should I require anything from you, I'll be in contact. Hmm. A hard man, it would seem, is Duke Alborea. Though we kind of guessed that already, to be honest. Uh. What was that about? It's not really... That was the almighty Juco Berea, was it? The head of one of the four gay houses, the man in charge of this entire province. Indeed. By some strange twist of fate, my father as well. Eusis. <clears throat> I've spoken out of turn. Forget I said that. Today's workload made me hungry. We'll return to our rooms and find something to eat. Sounds good. I'm starving. Indeed. At this point, we're in the office, returns to the room for a much needed shower. Off shore rest, it returns to the restaurant in Central Plaza. Undeniably, very pretty, uh, pretty escape here we've got. Ah, the breeze here feels wonderful. <laughs> the food was delicious, too. Agreed. I can see why this restaurant is popular with the nobles. It's got a high standing. Do you often use this? I do. The chef has been good to me since I was a child. I was practically raised on this food. How typical. Even in your dining habits, you noble Sorry, guys. on unnecessary luxury. Though I can't deny the quality of the food. The dogs have gone off. <laughs> it wasn't just tasty, but warm, too. Is this a particularly, yes. um... For a high-class restaurant, the chef seems to have used a lot of very healthy ingredients. Is it a particularly cold area, this area? Anyway, one sec, guys. I'm gonna sort the uh, the babies out. I think I left one of the rooms open and they saw a cat, but that's fine. Perhaps he's doing his part to ensure Yusa stays in good health. Indeed. I wouldn't doubt it. Yusa Salborea. I wonder what Group B is doing right now. They are somewhere doing the God's work, I'm sure. <laughs> we had this exact same conversation in our group last month, too. I'm sure they're hard at work over in St. Ark. Probably nothing to worry about. One would hope. It was Keldic for you last month, right? So you were thinking of us on the first night? Yeah. After dinner, we were wondering how Group B was getting on. Dare I ask? Uh, well... Nowhere near as peacefully as now. This is a big improvement. It's what we want. I... kind of figured that much. All the improvements. We are doing... Much better this time, that much is true. Huh, and I'm sure our reports will reflect that. It is an improvement, though I'm not convinced it's good enough. Interesting. It, it's not? I'm certain Group B gave their absolute best in all of their tasks today. But can we honestly say the same? That we could have done no better? And I'm referring not just to the monster encounter, but to the handling of our other tasks as well. Feels like we did pretty well. Hmm. We'll just have to try and make up for it in the day we have left. Besides, we had the chance to catch sight of a far bigger problem. Yes, that's true. The tanks, of course, going to First we find out taxes are rising throughout the province. Then we find out the military is being expanded on a grand scale. Don't even try to tell me the two aren't related. I have no intention of denying it. But you're only looking at one side of the coin. Exactly how many Oxen tanks do you think the Imperial Army has under their control? A fair amount, probably. Well... 
A hundred or two, I'd guess. Precisely. The Imperial Army's military capabilities are enormous. This nation has one of the most powerful armed forces on the continent. We're pretty much the big boys. And roughly 70% of it is under the Chancellor's control. Tell me, how is the Noble Alliance supposed to counter that? You're not, really. So you're suggesting that's <laughs> why the Provincial Army needs to bolster its forces? Considering both sides are comprised of Erebonians, it all seems so wasteful. Oh, the travails of youth. How noble and beautiful they are. Is this Bablonk again? It is. He's taking a fair interest in us. Baron Blue Blanc, I believe. Ha <laughs> ha! It's such an honor that you would remember a mere Baron. I see you've completed a hard day's work already. How splendid! And we also know that he knows Sarah in some way. Yes, nearly. What about you? Alas, I have yet to be blessed with the fateful encounter I seek. The search for beauty is filled with perils and obstacles, yet that is precisely what makes it all so beautiful. <laughs> Obviously, a bit of a I hope showman. You enjoy the rest of your stay. <laughs> I most certainly will. Though it truly is a pity that the clear air of this verdant city should be tinged, if but faintly, with the scent of steel. <laughs> I'd heard that Duke Alborea was a man of many interests, but I was unaware he counted playing with fire among <laughs> them. I don't condemn him for it, though, for only by playing with fire can one create fireworks. Would you not agree, my friends? I don't like your implications. And I think this whole line of conversation is a little inappropriate. In front of his son, yeah. Oh, please do pardon me, young lady. I meant no harm, I assure you. I wish you well on your remaining day here. May you reveal to me the beauty I seek by its end. Be it the lovely luster of success or the sad splendor of failure. Indeed. We, of course, know that he's a member of Orboros, or former. At this point, I think he's... Who does he think he is? He's got grey lines. This is why I can't stand nobles. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If it makes you feel better, though, I have my doubts as to whether that man truly is a noble to begin with. What? His behavior seems so exaggerated. Yeah. <laughs> Almost as if he's trying to act like the quintessential noble. Like he's fulfilling the stereotype. Yeah. Something about him feels off to me, too. But what's even stranger? He's strong. You can sense how strong he is. Knew we only have one day left here. It, you're right. We told him of our field study, but never once did we divulge how long we intended to remain here. Interesting. Between him and that silver object, we've been crossing paths with a lot of strange people today. Well, tomorrow's the end of our stint here. We can't let ourselves get distracted. We still have a lot to do. We got some stuff, That's yes. Right. We have to do our group proud. We do. Exactly. We should return to the hotel and begin work on our reports then. So, a new day is dawning. And I believe we're in May, right? It's going to go May 29th. Oh, but not quite. We're going to get some sense from Blanc. Or the steel object. Does Emma know something's up? Emma and Fee, sound asleep. Eusis does not look peaceful. <sighs> Can't get to sleep. I could ask you the same. You aren't going to tell me the bed's too hard for you, are you? I wouldn't dream of it. I've never slept in a bed this high class in my life. Not even back at home. Indeed. And yet you're the son of Baron Schwarzer. You've not lived the life one might expect of a boy from a noble family. Yeah, that's just how my dad is. 
A lord should live like his people, not above them. That's how he always put it. I see. It sounds as though you have a good family. Eustace yeah. is jealous. I'm very thankful for my upbringing. Aren't you going to ask? I assumed you'd be curious about that brief exchange with my father earlier. There's some shit going on, evidently. I wasn't really sure you'd want me to bring that up. You obviously get along really well with your brother, but I didn't get that same sense with the Duke. Has he always been like that? Probably. As far back as I can remember. I suppose he just has little respect for a son born to a commoner. What? Ah, he's half. My brother and I have different mothers. He was born of my father's legal wife, a noble who still lives to this day. My own mother, however, was a commoner, and she passed away eight years ago. Doing the nookie on the side. In other words, I am his bastard son. I had no idea. So, was that chef we met earlier? He's my uncle, on my mother's side. Perhaps that's why he's always been so good to me. There we go. Or perhaps he's simply compelled to treat me as I deserve to be treated, being the son of the Duke. No, that can't be. I don't blame you for being a little cynical, but there's no need to be quite so hard on yourself. Hmm, I suppose you're right. He certainly is. I'm... I'm sure you have your differences. But you do get along with your brother, right? You could say that. He's treated me well ever since I was taken in eight years ago. He was the one who taught me my swordsmanship, and who trained me in the ways of court etiquette. It's very different. <laughs> I knew it. Pardon? There's just something honest, I guess you could say, about the way you fight. It shows that whoever taught you was someone you really trusted. When we first met him this afternoon, I had a hunch he might have been the one. There we go, so we... Reed is so capable of, of knowing people. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. <laughs> I get that a lot. Is your injury from this afternoon on the mend? It's fine, honestly. There's no pain, and the wound's closed up like it was never there. I'll have to be sure to thank Emma's grandmother for her help someday. That's good to hear. We'll get a chance, I'm sure. Still, from where I stand, you are something of a danger to yourself. I... am? On the day of the entrance ceremony, when the trapdoor opened beneath us, you acted instantly to protect Elisa. It wasn't even a moment's hesitation. Mm. Uh. In most cases, one would reflexively act to protect himself. It's part of man's natural survival instinct. Depends, obviously. Yet you put another before yourself, not even pausing to question the validity of that decision. And you did exactly the same thing with us today. I'm sure most people would see that as an act of selflessness and sing your praises for it. But to me, it comes across as abnormal perhaps even twisted man needs to to look out for himself a little bit more <laughs> I uh, don't know how to respond to that I wasn't expecting you to see through me quite so clearly well I owed you as much for having seen through me first still the point stands you need to be more cognizant of the effects your actions have on those around you if not for your health and for your reputation that selflessness of yours can just as easily be perceived as arrogance, after all. I don't know about that. No, it can. And you're not the first person to tell me that. What's the point in saving others if you can't spare even a moment to save yourself? Which is a very true point. We'll get to at a later point, I'm sure. That's what my old master always used to say to me. Was it now? <laughs> We're becoming friends. I suppose we both have some things we need to work through. Yeah, but for now, we need to get a good night's sleep. If we stay up too late tonight, we're going to be dead to the world tomorrow. And that wouldn't be fair to the others. <laughs> I agree, it wouldn't be fair. To the girls, at least. I'd hate to be so tired as to limit my potential. Here, here. 
Good night, Yusus. Pleasant dreams. Cute. They have more in common than he thought, and Machius is awake the entire time. Of course. Trails of cold steel. Keep up the good work. We get no rank up, but we're getting there. As we move on to the 30th of May. So we've got a couple of things that we need to do first. Uh, one of which is going to take me some while, but... We have got some plans. Here's the envelope. Peace entrusted. Please study its contents well. We're going to open it. If we need him, we shouldn't hesitate. Alright, let's see what we've given us for today. Kind of anxious. What have we got? Field study, assigned tasks. Bite of nostalgia. Come special ingredients for a nostalgic disc. And North Cruzian Highway Monster is the other one that's required. It predicted, giving us a first hand look at the problems. The same way, let's not talk about my brother. One life to depart on the Vergy. Can set out as. Eustace Alberea. What is it, Machius Regnitz? I will accept no more failures. Today, we will form a combat link. What? As much as I may dislike you, I'm ashamed that we were unable to do what every other member of our class has accomplished. Today's monster extermination request seems as good a chance as any to make up for yesterday's failure. What did you say? Shake hands. You really are simple-minded, aren't you? I suppose you overheard our conversation last night and feel some kind of affinity toward me now? Nonsense! I did no such thing! <laughs> He's I was fast asleep while you yammered on about your family and Reen and... Uh. <laughs> Kinda got you there, mate. Fuck yes. <laughs> That's pretty conclusive. <sighs> Very well. I accept. I'll be happy to show you what a proper combat link looks like. <laughs> we'll see about that. Fortunately, I have more than enough generosity of spirit to endure being paired with an arrogant noble like you. There we go. <laughs> Maybe today's field study will go more smoothly than yesterday's after all. Feels like it will. Lord Yusus. Who are we coming up to here? Oh, no. A butler. What you here? I would have expected you to be at my father's side. I'm terribly sorry I could not greet you upon your arrival yesterday. However, I have come today in the capacity of an escort. An escort? To where? I'm sure you must be aware that I returned to Bereahard purely as part of a field study for my academy work. Yes, there's nothing too big here. But of course. However, His Grace has directly requested that I escort you to the mansion. So, I would be most appreciative if you'd accompany me without delay. Father? He showed no signs of desiring my company when we spoke yesterday. I am in no position to question or oppose his orders, merely to obey them. I'm sure you understand. Though while I hesitate to speculate, I do wonder if his grace may feel some regret regarding his demeanor yesterday. I somehow doubt that as well. I... Uh, but... Go with him. We can attempt to form a combat link another time. We'll be able to handle the morning's tasks just fine on our own. Don't worry about us. Huh. You've come all the way back to your hometown. It would be a shame not to visit with your family, right? Okay. Agreed. So there's some thought here. Are you certain? Very well. I'll return this afternoon. And though I will worry as to how you'll fare without me, I know you'll at least give it your best, for what that's worth. <laughs> of course we will. All right, let's meet back in the hotel there's lobby around noon. There's some light. If something comes up, just leave a message at the front desk. Understood. Lead the way, Arno. Gladly, sir. Annoyingly, us. we miss out on him, but it should be okay. We do have our missions. Well, let's get started. We wouldn't want to give Yusus any further reason to worry, now would we? Huh, certainly not. Still... <laughs> what? What is it? 
If you have something to say, just say it. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. She's probably thinking, the worst is over, and it's all thanks to your eavesdropping. Good boy. <laughs> stop that! Just stop looking at me like I'm some hapless babe! Rain, you do know I still haven't completely forgiven you for lying, don't you? Are you still hung up on that? And Emma, I hope you're ready to score second in our midterms because I'm not about to lose to you again. <laughs> but don't He's taking about taking it up very well. Any less than your very best. I intend to best you when you're in top form. <laughs> you will. And as for you, Fee, I've been wanting to say this for a long time now. Sleeping in class is an affront to our education. <laughs> you need to start treating classes more seriously. <laughs> Listen. Take proper notes. Raise your hand now and then. And stop covering your ears when I'm talking to you. <laughs> I can't hear you. Nice. <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot to do, so how about we get to it? <laughs> Sounds good to me. But first things first is we've got some book grabbing. Eustace has left the party, obviously. Let's go ahead and get those links set up that we want in our tactics. So let's link up Emma and Fee. Fee and Machias, but we need to head to need to do some things. So first things first is I need to head to Station Street to grab the next issue of our book that we need. And we've got some other stuff to do as well. So we need to where is it? Where is it? Where is Are you Anita? No, you're not. Where is Anita? So Saffron, you're not who I'm looking for. I'm looking for this lady here. Annette, scary part of it. We'll need it for sure. And all right, the next thing I need to do is buy some fresh milk. So I'll see you there. So we're here at Henderson & Co. I'm just going to buy four of these. We're going to exchange also some Sepith Mass. Just have that on the thing. And then I'm not actually going to do any of the weapons right now, but the first thing I need to do is head back to Auric Fort. So I'll see you guys there. So we're here at the fort and we need to speak to Mr. Hans Voltaire. So this is the fort. Why do these things keep happening? Is something the matter? You're the Messiah sent by Addis to save me. Part of the provincial army, what are you doing here? I'm lost. I'll be feeling fine though. How'd you get here? Shall I begin? I think we'll pass. Come on. Is there a short version? Fine, I'll see what I can do. Tell you the truth, there's not really much to say. I went out to the highway for a bit of pace and chased a rare butterfly. Of course you did. We're going to escort him back to town, basically. Some people are very cold-hearted. So, I'll show you one battle. The Lost Traveller thing. I'll show you one battle, so I'm guessing he's going to be there. And we've just got to make sure that he doesn't get hit. Which, of course, the first battle we're going to see is against this big this thing. Which is going to be quite difficult. So, is he on the field? Can't see him on the field. So, that's actually quite good. But I'll show you this one battle, but I won't... Actually, let's do a motivate. Seems to do quite well, just making sure we're all okay. We basically need to make sure we impede yeah. people, uh, which is a little bit frustrating, but that's fine. We'll go for there. Then we'll impede with this break shot. We can't let him, that guy hit off aerial, basically, because it will just end badly for everyone. I'll handle it. And then sweep and get a crit. Got it. Gotcha. Get an attack off. Get the frost edge down. Freeze one of them at least, which is good. Go. And we'll just attack regularly. Here okay. with these guys. Attack regularly. Yeah. Once again, we'll just get a frost edge on the go. Right. Now. Get the pierce right. off. Take him down with the assist. Go. As long as... I thought, like some of the other games, that he would be in the, um, in the fight screen, as it were. Fearless. With us, won't give up. We're gonna take out the one that we know we can take out. Leave it to me. 
we're going to get our arts on the go and just get a new shot at uh, this guy. Okay. We'll use our Serene Blessing on Fee. Thanks. Hopefully this does a decent amount of damage. I don't know if it'll be enough to save Everyone. your boy. Leave it to me. That's annoying. We'll instead this time just use a Reviving Mum. Something I could probably use getting Thanks. some more of at the time. <laughs> but yeah. really safe. This is bad. Then this should. <gasps> it's not good. Right. Gonna use the energy shell. Thanks. Heal up Breen. Go. Ah, fuck it. We've got the Zerum powder. I'm not gonna use that. I'm actually gonna see if he's got the last he does. Nice. Do this. Thanks. Heal him up and then we'll just attack with your boy. Or oh, girl. Brother. So I will see you guys back at Brayhard if I don't see anyone else there. Or if there's no cutscenes, I'll come back. It says, hold up, please. I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me a moment? Not a problem. Legs getting tired? It's not it. I'm just gazing at the valley beneath this bridge. Thought it might be a good opportunity to calm myself down a bit. What are you going to do? What is he doing? Oh, right then. Whoa, how far does this valley go? Let that scare me. Perish the thought. Deep breath. I hate anniversary festivals. Ah, farewell, my youth. Okay. He's evidently getting old. Who knows? Right, I'll see you back in Brayhard. So we're back in Brayhard. I made it. I'm back alive. Thank you so much. You're welcome. No doubt how to make it all up to us. Oh, if it isn't Ricky. Let me introduce you to my good friend Ricky. What has Ricky got to give us? You took your sweet time. Yes, yes, yes. Tragic story. They helped him back. Birds of a feather flock together. Very true. Kind of funny to watch. What are you going to give me? A napping Mishy. Did you come from Crossbow? From Libero, we're actually staying Crossbow. They're almost running out of money. But we get the Lost Traveler experience, which is all fine with us. So. We've got a bite for nostalgia, so let's go speak to Eusis' uncle at the restaurant. Here we go. So, greetings and welcome. Request delicious meal. We're going to find some ingredients, basically. Please that. Where is Lord Eusis? Call back to the mansion, I'm afraid. He has to meet with him in the afternoon. He's in here to request. Anyway, I need to gather some ingredients. Currently free, so I need to explain the details. Obviously, check up the request. So, correct. Is on the menu, but one I would like to try. Rather special dish, then. It's delicious to be making it, at least. What kind of dish is it? Soup is the best way to describe it. Enough for you all to enjoy, so please look forward to it. How can we not? Of course. What do you need us to gather? Two types of ingredients I like you to gather for me. First is a gobby fat, which can be collected from monsters on the highway. Five of those. And a herb used in the Septuagint Church to synthesize medicine. I want to speak to Sister Teresta, so that'd be fairly easy. Now, I already know I do have some globby fat, so let's see how much of that I've got. Only two, so I need to go fight more, so I will see you guys at the cathedral. So here's the sister in one of the side rooms. Can you give us the... Is there anyone with a chirping feeling herb? She's going to wait a moment to prepare it, but here we go. Gain the healing herb. Very healthy ingredient. It's very bitter. Okay. You're welcome. That's very nice. I'm guessing we might be making some sort of tea or something in this room. Just has the things. Right, so onto the cruising and North Highway. And from there, I will fight and get some globby fats. So we got ourselves the globby fat. It's dropped by all, everything on this route. So I'll see you guys back at the restaurant. Here we are. We can give him all the ingredients. Globby fat, some healing herbs. Much obliged. Please wait over to me. It will begin it immediately. We'll be able to grab some of what it is that he's grabbing. Herb chowder. Condiment through his whole body. 
cure hangover, of course. Please mention it's rather nostalgic. One of his favorite dishes. His sister, Eustace's mother, created a dish. Skilled at cooking. She was indeed. She would even come out and help here. First time she made soup was he just fell ill. She cared deeply for him. That's not such an easy life after all. A little bit of a guy crash forming. We got to learn a little bit more about Usus. Brings a request to the end. Place with herbs so we can take some with us. Some deluxe herb chowder. So the recipe for the cream chowder are based off. We will definitely take that for sure. So. That is two of the three missions we've set out. So. What I'm going to do is one thing. Is I'm going to go open some slots. I think. Open some slots. Buy some weapons. In here. So let's have a little look. See at the factory. We've sold out of those. Let's go ahead and shop. We need to get these other ones, which I believe we have to get somewhere else. But we'll exchange some of the Sepeth mass we've got. And then what we want to go about doing now is modifying and opening some of these. So, 250. Jesus Christ. Uh, 70 for that one, so let's go ahead and open up that one on Machias. Let's go up and open up that one there. 150. These are really coming hard with Emma. Already open, can be opened. 200 of that one. Let's go ahead and open this one, because it's 150. Fuck it, we're just going to open all of the slots on almost all of the guys that we can. If we can open the slot, we're going to take it. Almost there. And then let's go in and add some ones here. So let's go in and add. What would be good? What would be good? I don't think Soul Blur is actually going to do anything. Maybe put an earth pass, and then we've got to put a fire in here. So let's go ahead and put in a forte as well. Nothing we can add here. Unopened is. We've only got one unopened. Here he's got to take this, so we'll do that, and then we'll give him a breathe as well, just because he's not completely averse to this, and then. An R Aqua Bleed, so let's give that over to there. Let's go have some look for some weapons as well. This seems to be a an inn. Tailoring, is there weapons, Smith? Or is that back at the other place? That might be at the other place. It might be worth going to grab one of those now. There is the Galleria here. This is a pretty big city. I hope we're going to get a chance to come back to these places. My guess is there will become a little bit more open at some one of the chapters. So Big Boutique Cobbler, is he will do shoes. I'm not really interested in shoes right now. What I want is weapons. Here we go. So let's buy these. So we'll buy one and equip it. Buy one and, and equip. Buy one and equip. I'm just going to buy one ready, and then I'm going to buy a Karambit, and equip that there. And then I'm going to head back to the factory to get those amped up. So we're here, so let's customize these weapons. One, two, three, four, and then uh, insufficient funds. Ah, uh, we don't have any U material, goddammit. We'll get some in a second. But I feel like this is a good place to say, if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time when we take on the Highway Monster. Peace.